It is always tricky to define fundamental concepts. Since they are the basis for everything that follows, they themselves seem to lack any basis of their own. Physicists have a hard time defining matter and energy. Biologists have a hard time defining life. And philosophers have a hard time defining reality. Information is increasingly seen by many philosophers and biologists, and even by some physicists, as the most basic building block of reality, more elementary than matter and energy. No wonder that there are many disputes about how to define information and how it is related to the evolution of life or to basic ideas in physics such as entropy, the laws of thermodynamics, and the quantum uncertainty principle. This book will make no attempt to resolve or even explain these disputes, nor will it offer a universal definition of information applicable to physics, biology, and all other fields of knowledge. Since it is a work of history, which studies the past and future developments of human societies, it will focus on the definition and role of information in history. In everyday usage, information is associated with human-made symbols like spoken or written words. Consider, for example, the story of Cher Ami and the Lost Battalion. In October 1918, when the American Expeditionary Forces was fighting to liberate northern France from the Germans, a battalion of more than 500 American soldiers was trapped behind enemy lines. American artillery, which was trying to provide them with cover fire, misidentified their location and dropped the barrage directly on them. The battalion's commander, Major Charles Whittlesey, urgently needed to inform headquarters of his true location, but no runner could break through the German line. According to several accounts, as a last resort, Whittlesey turned to Cher Army, an army carrier pigeon. On a tiny piece of paper, Whittlesey wrote, We are along the road parallel 276.4. Our artillery is dropping a barrage directly on us. For heaven's sake, stop it. The paper was inserted into a canister on Cher Army's right leg, and the bird was released into the air. One of the battalion's soldiers, Private John Nell, recalled years later, We knew without a doubt this was our last chance. If that one lonely scared pigeon failed to find its loft, our fate was sealed. Witnesses later described how Cher Ami flew into heavy German fire. A shell exploded directly below the bird, killing five men and severely injuring the pigeon. A splinter tore through Cher Ami's chest, and his right leg was left hanging by a tendon. But he got through. The wounded pigeon flew the 40 kilometers to division headquarters in about 45 minutes, with the canister containing the crucial message attached to the remnant of his right leg. Though there is some controversy about the exact details, it is clear that the American artillery adjusted its barrage, and an American counterattack rescued the lost battalion. Cher Ami was tended by army medics, sent to the United States as a hero, and became the subject of numerous articles, short stories, children's books, poems, and even movies. The pigeon had no idea what information he was conveying, but the symbols inked on the piece of paper he carried helped save hundreds of men from death and captivity. Information, however, does not have to consist of human-made symbols. According to the biblical myth of the flood, Noah learned that the water had finally receded because the pigeon he sent out from the ark returned with an olive branch in her mouth. Then God set a rainbow in the clouds as a heavenly record of his promise never to flood the earth again. Pigeons, olive branches, and rainbows have since become iconic symbols of peace and tolerance. Objects that are even more remote than rainbows can also be information. For astronomers, the shape and movement of galaxies constitute crucial information about the history of the universe. For navigators, the North Star indicates which way is north. For astrologers, the stars are a cosmic script, conveying information about the future of individual humans and entire societies.